today we are going to get real. And by real, what? What do you want? What do you want? Keep it, keep it. You already got food. He's lying. You already got food. Okay, like I said, unplugged. This is like old school unplugged. I have a gargantuan number of tasks on the plate today and it's overwhelming to the point of paralyzation and I'm sure many of you can understand and relate to feeling that you have so much to do it's paralyzing uh, from straightening up my office to putting away my dry cleaning to rehanging my sound treatments that no matter what I do they keep coming off I've tried everything there's one there there's one there there I have to do the sound treatments and apparently I have to feed these kitties. That's priority one. And I've got just the whole front yard or not even front yard here. Look, I've got all these packages that need to be dealt with. The living room is a disaster. Let's take it to the front yard where I have this whole walkway it needs to have cobblestones, but I need to build it up because the water is pooling there when it rains really heavy. So I got to pour dirt in there, level it, and then lay cobblestones. And then since I'm already already doing all this, I'm going to put a fence right here. So there's a little privacy screen because that's where the new nursery is going to go. But that's before I have to finish all of this trellis thing right here for the front. You can see I've got some of it going over there. Let me see if I can get over there so you can see this. I'm going to make you sick. All right, so I've got this trellising. And then I've got to finish painting this. So that trellis uh, pergola was damaged in the storm. So I got to finish painting that. And then if we go to the backyard, oh, there's more terraforming to do up there. I've got a bunch of cobbles I got to pull out because we realized that the water is flooding towards the house, not away from the house. So I've got to do that. But let's take it to the backyard now. Here in the backyard, I've also got to put all this back together because our old kayak storage system was a disaster during the hurricane. It's amazing they didn't get broken. So we built a new kayak rack, but that has to be finished and I have to figure out how to hang everything on it. And then I've got parts and pieces. I've got all this stuff that's in some form of half built. And let's see, let's take it over to the secondary structure in the secondary, oh, I just typed in the wrong code. <clears throat> in the secondary structure, I've still got to, I've still got to put in the cabinetry and the countertop. The new fridge needs to go in. All of this new trim needs to be painted. So here was the idea. When we pulled out the drywall, uh, we built the drywall back up and then put a piece of, put a racing stripe around it so that if we ever have to pull it out again because of flooding, because this structure flooded, It'll be a little easier to repair the drywall. But all the finishing trims in here, um, cleaning, we poured a new floor in there. We did the stained concrete instead of the click floor. And all that to say, and that's not even everything. That's, we got a chicken. We got a chicken that has bumblefoot. Uh, so she needs to be treated every day and have her feet washed in an Epsom salt bath. But I say all that to say, this is my morning check-in because I know I can't finish it all today. I have to make runs to Home Depot and I've got to get some more materials. I've got gates to hang. It, it is truly an overwhelming amount of stuff. I hope you enjoyed that little manic walkthrough. What I'm gonna try to do today, what I'm gonna be checking in with you all about is I'm just going to try to stay in perpetual motion. I'm not gonna, gonna try to go super fast. I'm not gonna try to knock it all out in an hour, which is kind of my norm. I try to just hit it so hard that everything's just done. But uh, no, I'm just gonna, I'm starting now. I'm just gonna have this slow, steady, not gonna let myself get bogged down. If I'm, if I'm in my office, I'll be straightening up the office and working through that. If I'm out here, I'm gonna be organizing this and figuring out how that goes. If I need to build some parts, I'll build some parts. About the only thing I'm probably going to push off is any painting, because once I've got the roller wet or the brush wet, I kind of want to go around and do all the primer or all the painting all at once. So I'll kind of push those things off. But the rest of it, I'm just gonna slow, steady. 
and I want to see if, because I've, I've got a relatively clear schedule today, I want to see what kind of progress I can make and how much of this weight I can take off of my shoulders in one day where I take a minute to rest if I need to, remember to eat, that's a big one, I never remember to eat, I'll suddenly be like, why am I feeling like I'm gonna pass out? Oh, I haven't eaten all day, all right. So that is the strategy, that is the plan. If you stayed this long, thank you for watching. Let's, uh, let's rock and roll, let's do it.